across these different kind of game modes here. Uh, Render already hovering over to that junk threat, so you know teams are, are going to play very different things here. A lot of tanks could be seen on here as so well. Big heavy tanks that are going to just slow the game a lot. Yeah, and also if we want to talk about the spice of life, it is assault. Oh, okay, yeah, that's one. Yeah, there you go. I I regret having said that out loud. I can't take that back now. It'd be like yeah. dabbing on stream. If I did it, I could never take it back. That's on the internet forever. Yep, immortalized. But it is going to be a junk right out on the defense. I do love this. I mean, it's pretty stock standard now, but just the spam damage. We'll see how Alter Ego look to set up with this Sombra here. The early steel trap oh. catch on Joy Boy is going to be really tough for Alter Ego to deal with. And they're just getting taken apart now. That's the kind of thing mid-rotation that you don't want to have to deal with if we're jam gaming, despite running a more of a dive-oriented defense with the Junkrat. So it's not quite the, the Orisa Widowmaker Junkrat setup that you normally see on defense. And it's not quite the full dive setup that you see on defense either. So far, though, they're making it work. Yeah, and I mean, also Alter Ego, look, you don't want to be caught by a mid-rotation. You should also be looking another out for trigger. a mid-rotation. Yeah, another trigger. Not one that can be followed up on, though, luckily, but it didn't really matter. PB and Jam died so late, but actually Render, making himself too vulnerable there, too eager to capitalize on the trap, could be an opening now for Alter Ego. It definitely is. I mean... By the way, substitution, Trace now in. Oh, and that's going to be really good for the team as well, hopefully. Uh, Trace had such a great series earlier in the week, but anyway, Jam, they lost Render, they've lost Leap Easy. This is starting to get a little bit out of control, and Trace now Ooh. showing his worth. Yeah, unfortunately, they do lose Sad Boy in that, but they're still taking the fight to Jam. I mean, they're, they're even enough in members, and they're feeling confident in playing this one out as they pop Crimson Wolf's mech and Atar Render both drop down the DPS dynamic duo here from Alter Ego. PB and Jam and Trace really proving their worth thus far. Virginia can try and stall with this ultimate, but I think yeah. he's maybe better off just holding it for point B now. And you can see sort of the effect before Render just changed onto Soldier. He was about 94% onto Riptire. If he hadn't died, tried to chase Sad Boy by himself, I mean, he's the main main damage dealer, almost the main carry in terms of damage for his team's defense. Why give away your life like that? That could have been a big snowball defensively. Riptide could have won them another fight, but alas, it's a lot of ifs, buts, and maybes. What we are going to be seeing for sure, no ifs and or buts about it, is PB and Jam coming up on an EMP. A Kraken able to save Joy Boy with that ultimate PB and Jam, getting the good hacks down. There is that primal rage from Virginia to stall, but Crimson Wolf Committing the self-destruct now to try and preserve the mech. PB and Jam going down immediately after committing the EMP, and the follow-up hasn't quite been devastating, at least not just yet. It's only just Trace alone having to try and do that work as the Kraken kind of forced way back. They haven't got the closeouts that they've been needed while these members have been hacked, and now Jam may be looking to stabilize here with the sound barrier, also with the respawns, and Alter Ego just not quite getting the damage through, but not necessarily dying themselves. Kill on Virginia could just swing it back the way of Alter Ego. Uh, you're nearly getting more ults from Alter Ego as well. Jam are the ones losing members here so far, just as I say that. Yeah. Ata is just this comeback fact, and Ata just hasn't really died. He spent two lives where, in fact, one life where he nearly died twice, but not quite. One where PB and Jim hacked him, couldn't clean him up, and that was such a big deal because then PB died straight after EMP. That's a big turning point. And that was a lot of time committed, ultimately. Like, they've still got plenty. They've still got five minutes, but you would have liked to have seen them at least get a third. Just unfortunately, at no point there were Alter Ego ever in enough of a leads to actually turn that fight into real mm -hmm. progress on the point. Also, Jam had double defensive ultimates into Transcendence and Sound Barrier, so that slows things down yeah. a lot for Alter Ego and post EMP as well. So the EMP was already used, then double defensive came down. Very hard to deal with that this time around, though. Got to farm that EMP all the way back up. Yeah, looking to just try and get that extra damage out, PB and Jam. Good hit and run tactics, and he should be able to get it during the course of this fight. Ah, oh, um, not if you die, though. There is one thing that Alter Ego did get, and if they're tracking ults, they would know anyway, but it's been confirmed when PB hacked Render, they saw the tactical visor. So a little bit of information gathered there against Jam, how they want to play against it. It's going to be important. Double defensive ults, Zaobao and a Kraken on the Sound Barrier and Transcendence. So they absolutely have the appropriate counters ready. And this is the one where Alter Ego should at least be able to punch into a third. They need to be able to do so very quickly, though. That's going to be really key, because once again, if that Transcendence starts coming up for Sleep Easy and those stall tools from the tanks, then Alter Ego could find themselves the same position they yeah. were about a minute ago. And we've spent six, uh, well, two minutes in a little bit now, because they started on six minutes remaining on to B. So we need to see a little bit of progress here. This could be another Translocate backwards. It's going to have to... And there's the sound barrier out from Alter Ego, which PB and Jam does not profit from as he finds himself under Atar's guns. Does force Atar back, who's now actually hacked up, but he hasn't been able to get that health total back. And Render now getting free reign with his tactical visor. Only got Trace, but only no getting Trace is plenty enough. Crimson kill. Wolf can reset the mech as well, actually. Not while he's hacked, so nice catch there by PB and Jam. Transcendence now 
just to try and keep Jam at the present on the point so that they can slam dunk the fight. And indeed, that's the way it's now going. And Alter Ego just disjointed there, not quite able to commit the tools at the right time. PB and Jam was kind of forced to retreat at a very inopportune moment. Time has to be the key word here because timing was so off for Alter Ego. You saw PB and Jam there on roughly, like, was it 97%, something really close. Couldn't quite get enough to land the EMP. Had to translocate back. While he was doing that, Alter Ego, the rest of the team, were already getting ready to commit in. And PB and Jam just a little bit too far behind. Render got one kill to attack Visor. That's kind of enough, despite Alter Ego putting a lot of resources to try and shut him down. Alter Ego couldn't get enough space. That being said, they didn't commit too many ultimates. They've still got a lot of those same tools here in Jam. You have to say, don't really have any at all, aside from that Valkyrie, but that's the EMP looking for the follow-up. There's what they're after. Res on to sleep easy. It isn't going to help them too much here, unfortunately. And the Valkyrie, the only tool they had being popped. Virginia trained down with that Discord orb on him. That's the first third. Should easily convert into a second. Yeah, now it's got to be catch up and stabilize for Jam. They've got to get presence on the point, but they can't get a full rack of respawns to really swing the tide numerically. Prowl or pressured out does send down. Perfect timing transcendence from a Kraken. Yeah, sleep easy. If he dies before his own, then oh, just in the nick of time. Could you believe it? Does get on the point to save Render, but once again, the numerical advantage isn't there. Virginia has got the primal rage running, but he's just not got the members to be tanking on behalf of and with this alter ego just looking in command. Jam do not have comeback mechanics here. A second EMP Ouch. plus a self-destruct will seal the deal. A minute 48. They lost a lot of time, but once they got it going, they pushed it straight through to the end in convincing fashion. And that feels like classic alter ego, right? We saw that on Nimbani as well and when they got the right tools in the right order, using them in the right times, in that final fight, it was like Transcendence coming in just at the right time to save everybody, followed by a sound barrier, so not enough firepower from Jam to get through both the defensive ultimates. If that wasn't enough, the EMP coming in to sort of even push it further, and just to cap it off, Cherry on the top, sad boy, double kill. Eggtar <laughs> doesn't even have the comeback mechanics to, to win from that. Yeah, and like, not even Eggtar, right? But uh, this is exactly uh, what Alter Ego need. Again, that cap is super important for exactly what we were talking about just before this match, on, or before this map, rather, on the desk of now Alter Ego, if they can pull out that same caliber of defense as the goods defenses on Numbani, this is very, very winnable and starts to push match point. And the difference is Alter Ego can also get a lot more time on A, time that Jam didn't get on A, and you got to go back to Render kind of giving away his life as the junk rat there, which then led to sleep easy die, kind of snowboard a bunch of kills in Alter Ego's favor. Render had so, he was so close to 94% of rip timing, that could have been a really good A defense. If Alter Ego can get the time on A that Jam couldn't get, which sounds a lot like Numbani already, this could be a very different game in terms of how uh, Alter Ego's defense versus Jam's defense. We are kind of seeing the right tools potentially. Trace going to be pulling out the Sombra. Not PB and Jam this time around, but I mean, you, you know, Trace has a great Sombra in his own right. You need right. PB to snipe. Yeah, exactly. You need PB on the Widow is where really the driving force of that. But the main point of that Sombra I was going to say is that with these tanks out here from Jam, you know, the right hack in the right place and uh, even better in EMP, it turns them into nothing but big ultimate farms in a lot of ways. So rotation is going to be important for Jam here. How quickly yeah. can they get themselves around the hydroponics area, which is where I assume they're going towards the left, and then how quickly they can get onto the point after that. So two rotation points that they need to hit. Renta has to pop the bubble on himself, but he does do so. He gets his health topped off, but that is what PB and Jam wanted. But good rotation around now to get the pressure on the point. This is going to put mm. pressure onto Alter Ego to attack Jam, who are on the point now. Alter Ego there, are there to meet them, though. Renta's very aggressive charges with this. And South Bow going down early is a great start. Yeah, I mean, the, the charge is just chunking these members out. It's really too much pressure for Alter Ego to withstand. And Alter Ego, they needed to get just a bit more proactive than that there, actually, once Jam were kind of set up moving towards the point. It's like Alter Ego was kind of surprised like oh oh what they're there already and they just weren't ready to, to face it and they should be right and especially when they're not running their own junk rate, so you're not going to get that steel trap trigger that slows things a lot when jam was defending against alter ego for alter ego they need to be able to expect the quick rotation respond to it quickly as well and find a way for pb to still be useful as a widow maker what they also need to see here, Alter Ego, is that EMP rotate up. Trace has still got a fair way to go, and Jam could in that time, especially with this Coalescence now coming up, punch at least a third off this one here. 
Here comes Jam. There we go. Looking to get the aggressive defense this time around, though, is Alter Ego. They seem to have learned just a little bit, but they need to convert. Joy Boy low. They've lasted out the coalescence, though. There's going to be Atar. Tracer, the first casualty. Yeah, Atar starting to go off. Self-destruct in the mix from Sad Boy. Does get Prowl Law. They need to get more, though. They need to trade these at least so that their respawns can do something for them. They're going to have to wait for a lot of members to come up on respawn now. I think this is going to be a cap. Alter Ego don't even have ultimates. They don't have EMP. They don't have Transcendence. No one can even get on the point with that self-destruct where it is. Oh. Tracer tried and died for it. They finally get some boots on the ground, though. Need to start getting kills converted. Don't have the EMP for it. So, oh, the Earth Shatter, the D-Mech, despite the Transcendence there, and the Valkyrie as well. They need to get kills. It is all about the kills. Finally, an EMP coming into the mix, and maybe they can stabilize off it, but not when they're still losing members. Sad Boy down. The second Coalescence. Joy Boy still with the stall on the Primal Rage, but he's stuck alone, swinging arms in the Graviton Surge. Goes down to the Pulse Bomb of Atar, and it's just all continued pressure, unmitigated success once again on the side of Jam, who are looking at a cap out in almost, what, triple the time of Alter Ego? Now that is impressive as well, because it's all off one attempt the entire way through. One attempt on A, one attempt on B, and it looked like Jam was going to have an easier run on to B when you consider that Alter Ego were behind in terms of ultimates, but Alter Ego came out stalled, out, stalled out just long enough for the Transcendence to come out as well. That was really important because it meant all the sort of extra tools that charge onto, you know, I can't remember who it was, but the charge coming on through didn't manage to clean up a kill. Uh, the Graviton Surge, you know, was only caught one member as well, but despite all of these sort of things happening from Alter Ego's end, which saved members and stopped things coming through, the EMP as well, it wasn't quite enough. The tenacity of Jam to fight through two, two full waves of respawns, including ultimates, that to be honest were pretty valuable and pretty good out of Alter Ego, it's just not enough for them to complete their defense and jam the momentum too much. Yeah, and it's not like it was one of those situations where Alter Ego were trickling back onto the point and it was all but a matter of time. They got a full set of respawns. They had the full six. It wasn't like perfectly coordinated. It was more like one and then five, but yeah. that's still plenty enough to dislodge attackers when you got that respawn advantage. So you've just got to like flatly credit Jam's offense. That's all it was. There is one specific play I want to highlight there, though, Then that was... Atar winning the duel out against PB and Jam, who, by the way, hacked Atar as a tracer, couldn't complete that cap. Atar had some nice positioning to try and hide away from it. And then PB and Jam went down. Atar then got yeah. himself another kill. So that's just two kills for free while PB and Jam spent the whole time looking for him. Again, the term unmitigated success keeps coming to mind, at least in terms of that offense. And now, Alter Ego having to attack first, little time available. They're going to have to do it all at once. Render already getting one. Slow rotation from Alter Ego, just getting spam damaged out. Now they have to reset fast. They don't have time to be wasting here. And I'm pretty sure Sad Boy caught in the exact same trap that he got caught in earlier as well, except this time, Render disciplined enough to not personally chase that one alone. Ata, again, the natural hack target of PB and Jam, but usually when PB and Jam hacks him, can't complete the kill. And I mean, we saw that once again. In that instance, it was defensive, so that Trace could as, as well get away with his life. But off that, Atar's got so much ult charge. One Pulse Bomb could just totally stop this up. And also, Renner should be able to get a Riptide. Oh, he's yeah. reading the rotation as well. There's another so trigger. Great. Yeah, and this time onto a Kraken, who is a sure goner. Indeed, there it happens. And this is what I'm liking about this sort of more divish builds, is once they do get the trap down, they've got way more tools to follow up on it, get the kill. And it's just wasting time for Alter Ego. It's a huge guessing game for Render as well. Which way do you think he's, they're going to come from? Left or right? They're going to hydroponics or going to go up the left side? That's the, the one for one. This not quite over just yet, though. Alter Ego managed to get a few more members around the side. Joy Boy needs to get his health back up quick. Smart, though, as does Ata, though. And Alter Ego may have just been able to weather the storm here a little bit. Having taken Render out of the picture and survived the Riptire is crucial. And it looks like they are going to be able to get back onto it. Sad Boy, despite losing that mech so early, is going to get it back. Now can rejoin the fight on the point. And I think Jam do just have to give this one up. Go back back to point B. Alter Ego, they've given themselves a real big chance and they're coming into some pretty swingy ultimates that could snowball a cap on B. And Jam wanted to try and meet and intercept Alter Ego while they were still in hydroponics, but kind of just overstepped there. Not too sure what Render was doing. He might have still been looking at the uh, attacker's spawn. Either way, no, Alter Ego <laughs> looking to potentially snowball this one through. If PB can live, because, oh, what? He had the EMP oh, coming up. Can you believe it? I mean, you've just got to play a bit safer at that point, really. You don't need to do that hit and run when you're at that 95%. You're going to get it. Now committing ultimates into kind of nothing. They do they get don't a have few time. out of time. Yeah, they don't have... Exactly, they just have to go. And then waiting, they have to last until the EMP can come back.
back into the fray. Jam have some ultimates of their own. Alter Ego, Sabway, oh. needs to stop the structure. Oh. Eta slams the lid shut on that one. And Alter Ego, there will be no one to follow up on the EMP if PB and Jam... No, he doesn't even get it off. Can you believe it? Render with the headshots. And really, it's just one back from Joy Boy. Nothing but nothing for all the tools they had. That is about as poorly as that sort of push could go. Not even a third. And now their work sorely cut out for them on the defense. Eta has been shutting down PB so many times and it, it's just right in those final moments when it's the most important defensively. PB tried to kill Ata, didn't quite work out, gave Jam a huge momentum swing offensively as well. Just so close to completing that EMP charge. Ata finds him, takes him down, forces the 6v5. Even when Alter Ego get all their members back, Ata's on cleanup duty, double kill with the pulse bomb on both of the supports. That's enough to Man. end any push. Yeah, I like... I don't want to say that Jam are like living and dying by ATAR's play because that's not really fair to say. What is fair to say is they're performing well and then suddenly ATAR goes off and they absolutely slam dunk it, yeah, right? It's, they're living and then living better when ATAR <laughs> yeah, yeah. plays. <laughs> you haven't really lived yeah, until ATAR has got a, a triple well. K for your team. Mm. Live well. That's <laughs> Jam Gaming, live well. They will if they can win this. They, yeah, they'd be pretty happy. And actually, that would push it to match point. I mean, we were favoring Alter Ego to an extent. Uh, and we were also sort of talking about the defense. I mean, look, if it's going to come through, it's got to be here. But, I mean, five minutes is a lot of time to burn through on just a point A. I think best thing here that could happen for Alter Ego is maybe pushing it to a draw. But once again, that's going to require a lot of good defense. And they're going to have to do, I, I would say, match at least Jams A and... Jam answer the question of like what does a better A look like? That's what it looks like. So for Alter Ego, they had a pretty decent A. Actually, no, they didn't have a decent A because Jam got it in one attempt. So yeah. now Alter Ego got to stop them from getting it in one attempt. This time they responded a lot quicker. Look at that. Quick yeah. rotation and answer by Alter Ego. They've learned. And they've got a better set of counter to these tanks here. Rather than just having uh, the hack out of the Sombra, they've also got the Reaper. But the Reaper pressured off and now has to wheel back around. That's time that they're spending trying to damage down Sad Boy. But here's the re-entry now from Alter Ego. Pretty Actually slow. struggling to find their way in. Yeah, need to push back on before they give up too much pressure. There goes a third. Trace is dead as well, and they just aren't Trent able to get the... Yeah, they can't get these members down, and now Jam have resources to use. They'll be fighting through that coalescence, like you said, and there it goes. Now the point is already just about capped. Pulse Bomb kills PB and Jam, and oh, at least they got on before it capped, right? But it's a wash from that point on, a landslide, as it were, and look at the ultimates Jam are going to have for their B push. Save the big ones as well. They didn't have to use them to push on through an A. That was a lot better from Alter Ego, but they need even more than that. Five minutes remaining to get just one third. Jam look like they're ready to go. Got a Graviton Surge. Someone's gonna get on this! Shatter. Where's that on what? Nobody was there! And a Kraken even had a Transcendence. They could have maybe survived those ultimates, maybe stabilized, but they were waiting for all the respawns rather than just being content with the five they had, knowing that a Kraken could at least enter with the Transcendence. Now everyone on Alter Ego's a sad boy. That, uh, that's disappointing. They had they had the opportunity to come back on. To be fair though, Jam, Render, I expected him to pull the Graviton Surge near the spawn so he could sort of spawn camp them and yeah. spawn trap them, make sure no one could come on. Earthshatter coming out as well could have possibly stopped them, but uh, if you don't have to use them, well, it's even better. Yeah, boy, oh boy, those are probably the two fastest caps I've seen in, you know, consecutive times there from Jam. That was pretty, pretty good from them, really. That was one-sided. Like, like, yeah. like let's, let's not beat about the bush. That was one-sided in favor of Jam. Like, um, that doesn't mean to say Alter Ego didn't do I a lot of good things, bush. but for the offense, like Jam were just firing on all cylinders. Let's be honest, it went to time bank. You can't say it was one-sided. No, they, well, like, as, like as, I said. As, yeah, I guess. Wait, I mean, you, you can say that, but also like... It was in Jam's favor, but it was not one-sided. Because Alter Ego yes. had, they fired shots. If it was one-sided, it'd be Alter Ego not even kept an okay, A. Yeah, that, that, Jam that's rolling fair. through, that's easy fair. peasy. But the thing is, I I, I want to favor Jam. Without saying it was one-sided, I want to favor them and say mm. they had a much better game. Alter Ego swung some punches, but it was very clear now, even with Trace in the lineup, I said, look, at what happens if Trace comes back in? Are they better? They were better, but not good enough. Yeah, well, that was the real question for me. Now Trace in that lineup doesn't seem to have had that kind of an impact. It was very, very good for Jam there. The quad Tank certainly working out very nicely on their attack, but maybe when we get onto Escort, a little bit more room to maneuver here for Trace, maybe on that Tracer. I don't know what your thoughts are, guys, but on Horizon Lunar Colony, sometimes things are a little bit constricted, maybe, for the Tracer? 
certainly for one tracer, Ata <laughs> had the game of his life. Ata had no trouble. And he's like the anti-Sombra tracer. It's, you, you're not meant to win that matchup. You get hacked and you lose. But he beat tr when Trace played Sombra, when PB played Sombra, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Ata was winning all of those jewels, hack or not. He was hacked sometimes, still yeah. won the jewels. Like that's, that's the thing that's really mind-blowing is winning them even when you're hacked, like you just said. But yeah, look, certainly Escort could be a different kettle of fish here. And we did actually see that on Numbani, uh, like, it was in those more mobile phases that actually Alter Ego was having more success than Jam was. You can kind of, you know, remove that first point cap from the equation there. So, like, maybe Escort is here now where Alter Ego can tie it up. And, I mean, they've got it, right? Like, if, if yeah. not even just from the uh, perspective of this going to the full five or anything, just in terms of, like, actually at least winning the game, it's got to if Alter Ego are going to close it out now. All right, well, it is certainly looking quite good for Jam Gaming right now, but still one more opportunity for Alter Ego to push us through to a tiebreaker. That is going to be on Dorado. Their own map choice here as well, but, of course, does give Jam the option to choose what side they start on. We'll find out how it goes here, but this is going to be a tough uphill battle, I feel, for Alter Ego after coming off that map. And definitely in momentum as well. Jam was straight off a good feeling win. That was, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I do agree with you, convincing on Jam's mana, not totally total one-sided, but Jam was just totally in control. They didn't look like they sweat that much, even when Alter Ego capped. It was, you know, now it's Jam's game to win. And I do have to go back on what I said. Well, actually, I don't even have to go back on it, but I want to readdress what I said uh, when I said uh, Alter Ego will 3-1 this if they tidy up the defense and things like that. And the fact that Jam's uh, offense went the way it did, like it was good offense play, but also the defense didn't really do much to slow it up or stop it. So I can now very empirically say, Alter Ego have not tightened up the defense like we needed. They can at least pull out the same sort of things they were doing on Mbani on those mobile phases with the payload. But now I am going to readdress that and say, I do see Jam actually closing this out here. Yeah, definitely. I, like I said, Jam's game to win right now. They have the momentum behind mm -hmm. them. They look cleaner. They looked more like they were in control. A 3-1 for Jam should be expected here. That being said, I wouldn't mind going to a game five. I never mind going to a game five. It's always uh, always just makes it a nice, exciting one, I would say. And uh, I mean, Alter Ego, they do have the stuff to do it. I mean, you do actually still have to kind of readdress Numbani. As much as I have kind of said, I, I see Jam a little bit more favored on this. I will also again say... Those defensive moments on Numbani, at least the good ones, were enough for Alter Ego to win Numbani. That actually says they only need to do that again and ideally do a little better and they can very much win this push it to a game five. Because it feels like Alter Ego, when they're playing well, they play exceptionally well. They were, yeah. they were definitely doing good, but Jam are having way more consistent moments. Ata, look, even when Jam are losing, Ata is always an X Factor that swings back a fight and Alter Ego, they just need to be aware of anything Jam could throw at them. Alter Ego. Sort of setting up around. There we go. Trace already on the prowl for ATAR. Going to go ahead and start taking on that 1v1. Always a dangerous thing to do, but oh, any the damage onto Virginia, yeah. Uh, Jam, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Jam are taking this sort of advanced setup here, but now, yeah, having to pull back. Sleep Easy going down and maybe pulling back a little bit later than they should have Jam because they lose Prowlor as well. This is starting to go pretty nicely for Alter Ego. Jam losing oh, Crimson Wolf's mech and Render as well. Jam needed to pull back from that a lot quicker than they did. Absolutely. You have to look to see Virginia just was facing the wrong way. Crimson Wolf as well did not see, but Sad Boy and Joy Boy went into the back line, cleaned up Sleep Easy, quick snap, got rendered as well. The tanks from uh, the Jam Gaming side responded so slowly, yeah. they even lost their own lives. I mean, Alter Ego just found the exact opening they needed. And Virginia got so low, it actually pulled Prowlor forward to the tanks, which meant that the tanks of Alter Ego were able to do even more on the back line. Now, this sort of last opportunity to defend in the courtyard here. Crimson Wolf gets the self-destruct in the nick of time, but doesn't even need to use it just yet to preserve the mech as eight once again, are you kidding me? Yeah, 1v2, no problem. Now it's just Jam cleaning up. The other thing for Jam is they actually had more ultimates. They had the quicker ultimates, I should probably say. Alter Ego now maybe hanging around a little bit too long into this fight as they finally back off. Yeah, they actually got a tiny little bit more progress there, which is a little interesting. Jam nearly stepped off it a bit too long, but yeah, Alter Ego, they will at least be able to come back into this with some pretty key ultimates. And Tracer's Pulse Bomb as well didn't quite find the target. That could have been a swing point for yeah. Alter Ego if he got Joy himself a kill there. 
Joybo really low at the start of this, but he does at least get healed up for the time being, but it's so much on a knife stage. Oh, render down, though, the Dragon Blade to great effect. Atar, he needs to really answer that if at all here, because the Reds can come in for uh, Joy Boy, and suddenly Alter Ego finding themselves very much ahead in this one. Atar getting pressured out of the side. Still wants to take this fight with Trey. Still wants to take the team 2v1 between him and PB and Jam, but while he's nice busy kill. doing that, the rest of Jam is getting picked apart by these tanks, and now as the DPS has re-entered the fray, it's looking like it's all clean up for Alter Ego to get the cap. And that's it for Alter Ego, right? Atar might have these big moments, but if he does, Alter Ego just need to stay calm, composed, pull back a little bit, identify the win conditions. In this case, it was Render with that tactical visor, annihilate him straight off the map. PB and Jam getting himself the double kill, cleans up Atar as well. I mean, this guy just beat both the DPSs on the Jam side. You can't have a comeback, you can't have an expect a moment if Atar's down. And you especially can't have the comeback moment if you, you know, get a massive chunk of kills, but the rest of your team is dead and can't capitalize off it. Now we see Jam getting very proactive. I very much like this sort of defense, but they're low. They get Zhao Bao, though. That's a key target. And Virginia uh, willing to actually go aggressive with the Primal Rage because he kind of can do safely. And also with that, the rest of his team kind of free to deal damage. You see that all coming up in the kill feed there. Sad boy, yep. stagger. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, the thing is, he's playing Diva and he's called Sad Boy. It's too perfect. I can't. I, yeah. It is too perfect of a name. Like, that is solidly masochistic, right? <laughs> and the other thing, like, he knows it. Like, he yeah, knows. Yeah. He's like, I'm playing a Diva. I've got to call myself Sad Boy. But for Jam Gamer, though, look, Primal Rage onto Virginia. They know how aggressive they can get. Getting aggressive and quickly onto that choke, so important for the defense. Now they can set Render up on the high ground again. Sleep easy there to pocket him. And Atar looking for a flank on that backline control. And we already know what he can do with that. That being said, PB and Jam could completely flip that script. No way! I was about to say the thing that will stop him will be Transcendence, but that's out of the picture. Prowlor immediately down. It's actually Trace doing the work, but he's doing it while everyone is running from PB and Jam. He does go down, but Randall also getting nothing with this tactical visor. Payload now moving. Alter Ego looking to get the momentum on their side. What a pick out. PB and Jam, he's able to find these picks so often. We looked at A, like how did they win A? Okay, they just found Render, they found the backline, easy connections there, once again onto B, onto that early section. PB just finds that kill to sleep easy, despite the transcendence being there. Small mistakes cascading into large results in the favor of Alter Ego. And now PB has used the Dragon Blade, he's gonna come back onto the Widow. They're looking to just get the pick outs for this one, and ooh, nearly getting the one on Prowlor. He's Needs low, to though. get one more shot. Yeah, doesn't quite get the close out. Prowlor gonna be able to get away with his life for that one. Joy Boy, though, getting trained down. There's Atar, a bit a little overextended. This time, not quite gonna get the payoff, and uh, Alter Ego, you've got to say, they have actually got the setup that they may be needing, but they're just not getting the conversion yet. And they need that desperately. PB and Jam needs to desperately get some kills as well. He nearly got some kills, but nearly's not oh. good enough because Jam are the ones now converting back onto them. They did use some ultimates, but they did save those up as well. So ready to withdraw when the time is right before Alter Ego. Need to see some dividends. Can't at least in a good position to open up some flanks, which will be important for Alter Ego, despite time now running out. And yeah, Jam used some ultimates, but Alter Ego, you have to say, used a lot more. And you see that Pulse Bomb available, plus the Tactical Visor will be a big one for Alter Ego to have to try and deal with. PB and Jam is going to have to get some really sick headshots uh, to crack this one open. Otherwise, Jam could well just have another runaway defense and put Alter Ego with really no time left after that. Very interested to see what Atar wants to do with this Pulse Bomb as well. We've seen him hit some crazy good ones in this series so far. Eyes on the tanks as well. He's looking for targets. They're getting like healed a up though. on prey. Oh, cracking down. No way. Didn't even need the Pulse Bomb. That's so gross here. Alter Ego just getting a little bit too, I mean, too focused down, right? It just goes to show the target selection, the target prioritization is all there from Jam. They didn't even need to use those resources we were talking about. PB's even coming up to, in fact, he has Infrasight as well, and it's sort of the, the matchup where, at the start of this, this, I said, look for PB's Widowmaker, and the reason I say that is, when you see the Alter Ego versus Surge matchup, that was a great game for PB and Jam. Widowmaker was very effective, but so far, it's been kind of nullified, and Jam just played around it. Jam are not dying to him. Atar still finding a lot of pressure, and now 23 seconds. They uh, do at least stop Render from getting a sneaky position, thanks to that Infrasight, but he is still going to be able to just open out front on. But Jam are the ones on the back foot here. We're still kind of readjusting their position right as Alter Ego hit. And off the back of that, Alter Ego in their own right now having one of those unmitigated success type fights. Need to convert it onto Payload Distance. Just going to try and force Render out of the fight by just putting the self destruct right on top of him. But now Trace, the Rez in. Yeah, they get the numerical superiority. The cap just about to come through, but Jam, they have the members. Going to start rushing back onto it, but they lose sleep easy. 
Where's Alter Ego? They nearly backed right off that. What just happened? That was nearly losing it. Now suddenly Xiao Bao is right down on the ground. Alter Ego, where did uh... they go? They had numbers. What were they doing? Now they're getting routed back out by Jam. Just desperately trying to stay in this one. Trace is at least doing the work, but Sad Boy getting pressured out. Render able to do damage between him and Virginia here. What is going on? It's not quite over yet. They can get down Virginia. There's a chance. Render coming in is just oh going to be goodness. a sacrifice to the blood god of Alter Ego. It was a little bit tough, but oh. they did find it at the end there. Got to commend the double tank combo, Joy Boy and Sad Boy. All the emotions there, if you like, pushing Render back consistently. Note that Render has had very poor tactical visors this entire defense because both Sad Boy and Joy Boy have been onto him every single no time. Again. Getting that cap through is important now for Alter Ego, but my goodness, they nearly lost that out despite actually being in the driver's seat of the fight and then suddenly having to play uh, play recovery from there nearly nearly killed it for them. But they weather the storm now, trying to keep the pressure applied as they get the kills in. Looking to get just some free progress on the oh! card. Catch on Virginia. That is indeed free progress. This is Jam staying in longer than they should, actually. This is going to be the card rounding the bend right towards the end now before Jam can do anything about it. I actually don't fault Jam for that because most of Alter Ego, in fact, maybe like half of them, were sort of onto the side looking for kills there. The rest of Alter Ego trying to push the card. Jam had a pretty even fight until Alter Ego consolidated onto the cut. Then they punished Jam in the final fight here, oh. potentially. Virginia cornered with that Discord orb on him. Atar does get PB, so the headshots won't be a factor, but there's still plenty of time for Alter Ego to just route. But no, never mind. The Atar effect kicks in once again, killing a Kraken just shy of the Transcendence. They have to get a lot of work done here, but they've got the tools for it. It's going to be Primal Rage being the first one. Now the self destruct from Sadboy. Good catch on Sleep Easy. Take the healing out of the mix. Pulse Bomb down. Doesn't quite get the kill on Virginia, though. Self destruct in from Crimson. Doesn't get the kills, but does create some space. Virginia catching Xiao Bao. Again, shy of those important ultimates and Aether able to go off. Alter Ego, they are not at the advantage that they need to close this one out. And Jam just stabilizing bit by bit by bit. Kraken finally in with the Transcendence, but not able to save enough members. Xiao Bao will not be able to get a sound barrier on this point. Nearly actually getting the cap through though. Alter Ego have got to at least be pleased with that. I got to be pleased for them as well. And I think they should be pleased with the fact that despite only getting B into overtime, which maybe they shouldn't have in e been E, uh, even able to cap in the first place, they were able to get that cap nearly towards the end. We've seen this already on Nambani, where, you know, nearly towards the end, but yeah. if the groundwork is laid out, this is a winnable and defensible position. They just got to force the yeah. same thing onto Jam again. That B is going to be quite important. That A is going to be quite important. If Jam only cap into overtime themselves onto B, if at all, yeah. then they might not finish the map because that's a lot of distance to get in not a lot of time. Yeah, like this is exactly the situation from which they won Numbani. Alter Ego do have to be at least happy about that, but their attack did not go as smoothly as the Numbani one did. That also has to be appreciated. You know, I mean, that being said, look, getting just enough a few times in a row is actually plenty enough to get them to this position. So the net effect is the same. And if the net effect of their defense here is the same as their Numbani one, then yeah, that is enough for a win. There's a couple things Alter Ego a couple of things that Alter Ego are doing quite well here. The first of which is a shutting down render. Uh, the next thing is they just got to be able to shut down ATAR as well, which they kind of have been able to do sometimes. They've also been able to pressure enough out of Virginia and Crimson Wolf. I got to go back to the very first uh, sort of defense that Jam had with Virginia and Crimson Wolf just looked the complete wrong way. Alter Ego were able to find these openings. So they're able to just penetrate through the defenses and look for opportunities that Jam are kind of just missing or not aware of. And the uh, second thing to that is um, yeah, it is It is just the render. Render being countered really hard by both the Alter Ego's tanks. Agtar's been doing a great job despite that, though, because he's been given a decent amount of space. Let's also speak to the other side of this, by the way, because I feel like we haven't actually stressed this enough. This is match point here. As much as it could have been a much easier run here for Jam had they defended, had they sort of got the full hold earlier, all they need to do here is finish the map. Right out the gate, getting aggressive onto these front two tanks. Joy Boy may just go down here, especially if he turns his back to try and get out. Draw some members forwards. They are going to be able to weather that. Pull back safely. Now looking to just get back in, want to stall up the cart. And Just Living is, uh, is pretty decent. Joy Boy's kind of caught in hot, hot water again. He needs to get himself out of there. Maybe go for a uh, rotation around the side. Oh, PB. Uh, one for one trade so far. Yeah, losing PB though may end up being more impactful. In fact, indeed it is. It just kind of cracks them open. Crimson Wolf, he, he lost the mech quite early while he was on the back line at the point that Joy Boy went back forward, but didn't actually die. The closeout wasn't there, and Alter Ego didn't really pay respect to that, I think. 
I think it also looked like they were kind of caught out. Like, in all I said about tanks being caught out so far on the Jam Gaming side, Alter Ego, both of them just kind of sat there as Jam's, uh, you know, Virginia and Crimson Walsh just jumped on top of them. Then they had to quickly respond, lost a lot of life, had to back off quite quickly. That one response onto Crimson was nice, but ultimately not good enough. Render already eyeing up a Dragon Blade and all such targets. That is a nicely timed... Ana ultimate onto Joy Boy. Virginia having to pop the uh, Primal Rage. Joy Boy may just die here. Yeah, he does indeed. And uh, they bought a bit of time. They've certainly put the pressure on Jam. Jam actually committing ultimates to the baby they shouldn't have. But uh, this is a really, really odd one. Alter Ego, I suppose they've got to be pleased with that. They did buy a lot of time, and they didn't lose too many members in the grand scheme of things because they're starting to get those respawns now anyway. They still have decent positioning, which they can definitely use. Cast not around that first corner yet as well. Trace getting a good opening, one onto Crimson. Wolf, oh, boom, shakalaka. 3k out of the tactical visor, including the mech as well. Called it a 3.5, plus one with the self-destruct. Quite a few resources committed, though, for Alter Ego, but they're still cycling into some useful ults once again. Jam are actually a little bit back-footed now. That's the thing, right, because even though Alter Ego used ultimates, Jam haven't really caught up just yet. Now they've been forced to full reset. Alter Ego in the better defensive position. Got that high ground control back, but for how long? Because Render is in action. Ah, oh, but it's Virginia going to be the early one to go down. Render's out of action. Anything is yeah, back out of action. Decommissioned. Ata still looking for these angles, still looking for these flanks, but half the time right now, he's not actually where the fight is. Pulse Bomb out goes wide, and Alter Ego is still looking stable. Jam having to throw in a lot of resources just to stay in the fight, just to try and keep the payload uh, getting it back underway. But Alter Ego can start hitting back. Joy Boy getting deep with the Anab ultimate on him. Does go down, but he may have already done enough work, or maybe not. Sad Boy as well should allow some space for the cart to move once again. That's probably a little bit too much forward for Alter Ego. Trace in the wrong place as well. Cart was stopped up quite nicely. I was just about to compliment Alter Ego to say in that last fight they stopped the cart entirely, but now it's free push all the way potentially to the end of B, unless Alter Ego can sort of reconsolidate quickly enough. PB and Jam can work some of that magic he had so far on the Dragon Blade. That's about it. Alter Ego, they should actually still get one last defense. Wow, good catch on Sleep Easy. Maybe want to go for that Dragon Blade, but does need to give respect to the ultimate. In fact, now may not even need to commit it. It's got to be the self-destruct here from Crimson Wolf that does some crazy kind of work here. Xiao Bao pressured out, good dive onto him, but the render's already dead. This is just kind of Jam getting a couple of hits back. It's not really something that's going to turn into a fight win for them. Yeah. Oh, wow, look nice. at that. This is, again, he's he's now the one that can actually take down Atar, and not only that, but he's finding these picks. You may he didn't even have to use the Dragon Blade there. Just got one dash kill, gets another one onto Aitar. Jam trying to get some any counter trades that they can. Very important for them. Now Kart's in a really awkward position. It's close to capping, but it's hard to get onto because Alter Ego have full control over this entire courtyard area. What Jam do have, though, is sort of this flank area now opened up. And they are going to have to make great use of it. You can guarantee, though, if anyone can, it's Aitar. Alter Ego, though, they do have the tools in their own right. Atar's just, just snuck in the backside. Hasn't found the targets just yet, though, as the fight breaks out of the point. Sleep Easy first, casualty. And Atar spending too long looking for flanks rather than being in the fight as it starts going the way of Alter Ego. Now, I mean, those comeback mechanics from Atar aren't really enough when you've already lost three members, unfortunately, and he is just going to have to peel back. Well, he spent a long time chasing up the Joy Boy, right? And that's not bad because he got the kill, but his team kind of died in the middle that jam actually had a pretty big advantage they had a decent number of ultimates now alter ego have caught up in fact even overtaken them trace yeah. about to get onto six 155 remaining alter ego with six ultimates actually have enough ultimates as it is to just complete this defense on b and by the way these last couple of fights in fact the last two fights they have won without using ultimates either so uh, jam I mean, having lost those fights just through sheer sort of disjointed pushes have put Alter Ego in an advantageous position. And this is going to be a pretty important one for Jam. Ata already the used the Pulse Bomb, found nothing. Oh, for goodness sake, Ata commits the Pulse Bomb, nothing, and then dies to the self-destruct as a Kraken picks Prowlor. And it's just like, how many times have we seen, you know, that one, of, one or two picks and then the fight is lost? But also Alter Ego getting so many kills on the back end is what Jam did to them on Numbani. And this is it, we, you know, before we even got into Dorado, and e even in sort of the, the halfway break between switching sides, Alter Ego, they just needed great defense. We kept talking about Alter Ego's defense, and when their defense is great, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. In fact, it's ironclad. Jam Gaming running out of options. They just can't break in. They can't find the opening. Alter Ego, on the other hand, on their attack, oh. were able to find openings. But speaking of that, 
you're right, it could be. Well, at the same time, though, they're not actually ready to attack, and PB and Jam can actually re-enter this one. Zhao Bao round the side to get the boost onto Joy Boy, but gets attacked, and that means a Kraken has to commit the transcendent sleep, goes wide onto Ata, who is just now eyeing up these supports Render. to dive in from Render. This is the opening they needed. Trace does get one back. PB and Jam needs to get a lot done, but he's all the way off to the side, catching Render does get him. Got to get back to the point now, and where is the presence for the rest of these members? At least the cut had pushed back. At least Dog Rigo get another shot. And Prowlor died. Sound Barry in the zone as well as Jam Gaming. They need him back ASAP. Joy Boy still the easy. primal. Sad boy though, he's just gonna die alone out front here. That Start is the sad. from Crimson to make the space for them. Ah, uh, catches Sad Boy too. But Ata going down. Alter Ego, the respawns could maybe come in for them here. Joy Boy just sort of balancing the pressure well enough. Trace playing hit and run tactics, doing what they can. Render though, still in the picture, still doing the damage, as are both DPSs from Jam now, who had the presence on the point, and they are getting the kills to come through. It could be the same as what Alter Ego did, capping in overtime. That may be enough for Jam, but it may also be enough for Alter Ego, actually, because of how well uh, the early parts of the map goes. Self-destruct! What? Oh, getting the three! Does that do it? Is that enough to turn it around? The Bionade on Crimson Wolf got him low, and the Discord Orb closes it out on him. My goodness! Did Sad Boy just become the happiest oh, the boy Bionade. on the planet? I think that's going to be the turnaround! Can you believe it? What a way to even it up! Now they got two Joy Boys on the team. <laughs> we got two Joy Boys on the I was, desk here, I was man. so ready to criticize Alter Ego, like, okay, Jam's about to cap. Why are you throwing in a Nano? Why are you throwing in a Self Destruct? You need these for the CD fans, but Sad Boy, he saw the win in his eyes and he got it. Look at that, like in the nick of time. And because they were in over time, they were keeping the presence on the cart. They had it in their sights, right? Like you get the dollar bills in the eyes. They were like, it's right there. It's right there. And because of that, they were too close to the action. They couldn't retreat from the self-destruct. Man, we got a series on our hands. Yeah, we do. That was Ooh. one of those self-destructs that as soon as you throw it, as soon as you see it go you out, no, you know it's going to come up big. <laughs> All three of those guys stuck against the wall. None of them could go anywhere. Ooh, man. And finally, Finally, we have our first tiebreaker of the season. It's two apiece now between Jam and Alter Ego. We're going to get to see Oasis. What does it look like? I've never been I, here in I Australia. <laughs> It's, it's, I mean, it's Man. been a long time coming, I will say that, but I'm very excited to be here. And well, like I said, uh, I thought this, this series was going to deliver. Finally, oh. yeah. I'm right in that assumption. And I mean, how back and forth is this one going to go look at that. as well? Oh, wow. Like, it, it goes to show, like, I, I stick by what I said, you know, and, and I, I still have this whole way through of like, what, what? Alter Ego have needed is the kind of defense that they did have on Numbani that amounted to a win there. They didn't have it on Horizon and Lunar Colony. I was like, oh, okay, it was a flash in the pan. Okay, it's not consistent, but they got it back in time. It was there on Dorado. Maybe Oasis can be the swing point. Maybe they can just be a little bit cleaner than Jam. If they can just get the consistency, this is the only place they need it for it to count. Well, is there that fact that Jam did win on Elios? Is, is that kind of going to be above their heads a little bit? There's a little factor in there. It was four maps ago, so maybe Alter Ego can sort of get over it, but at the same time, Render's far out was much better than PB's on Elios. That has to be taken into account, at least for Garden, and maybe possibly for City Center as well. But uh, a, a lot of uh, Sombra play could potentially be in the mix here as well. It's, it could just completely be up in the air, I think. Despite losing Elios, Alter Ego are coming in big. I mean, they've got to be feeling good after how that went as well. That's the thing. For, for how rough it was at times, and then how good it looked at moments, yeah. and then the fact that it seemed like Jam were just yeah. about to get it across the line. Like, for how that played out, you've got to feel positive wow. coming into this. I also want to, like, praise them, because if you look at Alter Ego right at the end there, even if they let B go, we said the win condition was the force Jam to camp in overtime, and they did that. So now, uh, it's exciting times. It's exciting times, but it's arguably also desperate times. But it all ends here, one way or another. And what a matchup befitting of our first full five. PB and Jam getting drilled down by Render. And uh, that's not the start that Alter Ego were after here. That should give Jam priority on the point as it unlocks. And Alter Ego don't have a lot of uh, choice here. They just kind of have Joy to go diving. for the like, defending that point. It's worked, it though. The kind of two-pronged call here between Joy Boy and Trace is kind of going off well. Sad Boy again keeping the pressure on. The trade backs are there. They do need to take these tanks out of the mix though because that's enough health bar there for Atar to continue to go untouched. PB and Jam as well needs to be diving the squishies, not the, uh, not the I don't know, I, I, tankies, I suppose. But it's working out for them. Jam actually just getting a little bit picked apart towards the end there. Alter Ego diving at just the right time. Yeah, I do also want to inform you the opposite of squishies would be like maybe 
the, the solids, the solids, you know, the beefies. I don't know. Either way, Alter Ego managed to still get that cap yeah. despite everything going down. PB went down pretty quickly. Alter Ego stuck around. They were able to live long enough for PB yeah. to get back and have have that effect in there. Both tracers now sitting on the pulse bomb. Oh, doesn't quite get the closeout of Virginia, but Neither of Atar, them. yeah, not getting his own closeout. Now PB and Jam has this tool to close it out quick. Smart needs to shut the lid on this one. Does get Prowl Law, Sleep Easy Coalescence, but getting drilled down by Joy Boy, it's going to pay off, and that should be all Alter Ego need to commit here to close it out. Indeed, it is the case. Jam did commit some uh, ultimates of their own, but they are at least cycling into some important ones. Alter Ego running circles around Jam's composition right now, which wants to be quite brawl heavy, but in like a small space. That's where Render of Virginia are going to be most effective as its double tank duo. Atar's finding some space, but he's not getting enough value. I guess neither is Trace technically, but for the rest of Alter Ego, when they are winning, running the both Winston and Diva composition with PB on the Genji as well, they're able to find such great angles on this map. Trace just still kind of getting these uh, these flanks here. Sad Boy has the self-destruct as well. Doesn't matter how much health you have when that explosion rings out, if it rings true. But there's the grab now to catch these members. It's going to be the self-destruct thrown in there, but already Alter Ego. Oh, gee whiz! Crimson Wolf. I mean, he died to Sad Boys, but who cares, right? Like, that's the self-destruct they needed. The Wombo combo indeed. Alter Ego, though, they can be pleased with 70%. They had that set up for so long as well. Graviton into self-destruct, one of the oldest plays in the book. Jam executed nicely. All they had to do was grab, put it straight in the middle, collect their three kill, cap that point as well, but they got a lot of work to catch up to 72%. And Jam do have the defensive tools here to uh, push this one, like even it up as it were. A good uh, Earth Shatter, decent Coalescence, a good Pulse Bomb even from Atar. It's all it really takes to push it to 70% of their own right. Sleep Easy back now with that Coalescence as well, so double support ultimates. Earth there Shatter! There it goes, gets two of the tanks and they just start cleaning them straight up. Plenty of damage there. The Pulse Bomb of Virginia does get followed up on a little bit later on down the line, but Alter Ego kind of lacking in the tank department here. They want to stick in this one, it seems, but I don't know if that's necessarily a great PB. call. PB committing to it, though, but they lose the back line with a crack, and Annie goes down to render, only really getting Crimson Wolf's mech. That was maybe a little bit overzealous from PB. Could have just held it for the next fight. I think Render's tired of getting dived on by PB and Jensen. He <laughs> plays Zyre so he can microwave cook PB out of the fight. <laughs> That sounds really brutal. It is. Well, I mean, Render wants it to be that brutal because he's sick of dying to him. Sick and tired of dying on the back line. I, I mean, still, Jam, Jam still yeah. have these double defensive ultimates, which again, are still very important. They're now about to catch up the 72% of the Eco. They don't have those offensive options anymore. Yeah. They can make a deep dive, I mean, they which just they used are. Them. They got it. They got Crimson Wolf, who wasn't actually back in the mech, but they lose a Kraken. There's those defensive ultimates, though. Alter Ego only need to weather this storm now, but unfortunately not quite going the way they want. They lose the tank presence, Trace. Does get out, but he's low, has nowhere to really fall back to either. Neither does Zhao Bao, and it's just follow up now from Jam to clean out those last few members. PB and Jam on the wrong side of this. They're going to be piling onto the point for one last one, and they're going to be piling into a grab Earth Shatter combo. And that's deadly as well. Crimson Wolf might even be able to get a self destruct in some sort of time, but they might not even need that. Just grab or just Earth Shatter. One of those could be good enough. Both of those, that's a, that's a potential game winner. It's got to be the Transcendence from a Kraken to counter it, but he's already popped it, and now the grab can come in as soon as that's run out. Render just looking for the angle on it, trying to find it. There we go, gets them all. Self-destruct, can he do it twice? Crimson Wolf! Oh, no, he cannot. In fact, doesn't get back in the mech. This is now looking a little bit more even than maybe Jam were hoping. Alter Ego, sad boy, still staying in the mix, but he does not have DPSs to follow up on him, and these tanks are still just dishing out the pain on the side of Jam. Sad boy, though, he's holding the ground. Now the Discord Orb may actually be enough to kind of swing that one in their favor as he tries to get the damage on Virginia, but taking equal measures of damage. Alter Ego and Jam now both getting respawners in. Oh, it's hard Trace. to call this one, but oh, Virginia! That's a charge that he's going to have to regret. And Alter Ego may just be able to get the presence back Phoebe. on here with the sound barrier. Phoebe's got a dragon blade here so he can swing things around potentially. Prylo now with the sound barrier response as well. So Phoebe going to find it very difficult to find kills. Not doing it. And Atar got one with the pulse bomb. So it looks like Alter Ego, despite having a few tools, Jam just had a few more at the right times as well. Atar once again just just, you know, it's the X Factor, it's the fight closer, it's the, I don't know, the haymaker, shall we say. And it is enough to secure the first map of Oasis. Once Jam got into sort of gear as well, once they got into motion, got the ultimates rotating, this is like very much early days of Overwatch kind of action. The Zaya Reinhardt kind of meta that was I kind of it. back in Season 1, Season 2. Back then it was a lot of look, just rotating those big ultimates, looking for the combos as well. That's exactly what Jam were able to do. They found it hard at the start, 
Alter Ego were sort of out positioning them, out rotating them in terms of Jam trying to get onto the point. But once they're on the point, and most importantly, once they have control of the point, it's so hard for Alter Ego to get that back. And now we're going to go to City Center. We've already seen the PB versus Render Fire Duel. That went better for Render on Ilios, and PB now has to bring it back in favor of Alter Ego if they want to win. This could be the last map. It very much could be. Alter Ego do not want it to be. And would have also liked that last one to be a 99 to 99, if nothing else. But I'd like to see, yeah, that render PB and oh, Jam PB. Oh, PB! Hello. Yeah! Now Xiaobao doesn't really have that same safety, and Render can just start raining rockets on him. Oh, yeah, you there said, you have you, it. Yeah, right, the yeah. timing was perfect. I know. It's like, I'm a little bit psychic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is Jam winning that fight pretty resoundingly. We could actually see Alter Ego come in for a re-engage, but I think this one just goes the way of Jam. That was so quick as well. That wasn't like any of the other fights we've seen. That wasn't like uh, University, they where it, it sort of went quite extended. Uh, unfortunately, though, just again, the rockets, face, yeah, boy. no one's actually challenging Render here, and he's just getting free damage as these members barrel towards the no, point. No, they are challenging him. They're just not killing him. Not, yeah, yeah. The difference. <laughs> <laughs> They're challenging him to see how many rockets he can hit in a row. He did clean up Prowl all those, so now oh, finally gets his revenge. This is the kind of entry that Alter Ego do need. PB now is the one who gets free reign on these squishy members because Crimson Wolf has no mech in Virginia. Uh, he's only just sort of rejoining the fray here. Goes down to PB and actually it may have been enough for Alter Ego. Can you believe it? That's the second time in a row. The fight's gone sour at the start and they've just had enough time to come back in and end up with a fight win on their hands. Now caps are really important here. I know that sounds obvious, but specifically for City Center, this is a map that is notorious for overtimes, notorious for fights never ending because the cap is so massive. People can keep contesting over and over again. Again, so now Alter Ego, once they have this cap, they can be expected, as long as they don't throw it away, to get a lot of percentage progress. And if the tension oh. couldn't be enough. Jeez, man. Oh, I'm having a heart attack over here. Maybe it's just the Australian heat. But maybe it's also the fact that we are in, like, the most tense way we could have the tiebreaker of a best of five go. I mean... Man, what a treat, right? Like, this is now the second time we've seen Alter Ego in this exact same mm -hmm. position. You want to see them snowball it a little bit harder, but the reality does tend to be that even in spite of that, like, from 0 to 99, your opponent is always going to at least get one fight where they have an advantage, and this is or jam. Neutral. Yeah, or at least neutral, and this is jam. That is a very winnable fight for them, and as it happened on the map just being university, that was enough for them to actually fully cap out yeah. in their own right. Look, I, I, and I've said that a few times during, you know, the, the series of the Super Week, but the, the fact is, despite having me said that, a lot of teams have still lost 100 to zero. And when that happens, mm -hmm. it means in those fights we're expected to make a comeback, you didn't make the comeback. So Jam, they still got to execute because now they're yes. behind an ultimate. And that is very much a real factor here. Or they could just win a fight long before that point, but you do certainly want to see Alter Ego get PB. that Snowball PB dead to render before he can commit the rocket barrage and now Jam Gaming not just the head in members but head in ultimates as that is a late sound barrier that does not save Zhao Bao. Crimson Wolf just happened to throw out the South Destruct to close this one, seal the deal. Expensive one for Jam though, but Alter Ego really threw a lot of ultimates at the wall hoping something would stick and they're not really, I mean they're even sticking in this one late actually just going to feed Alt Charge back to Jam. They do get some time for it, but I don't know if that was worth it. Uh, Joyboy needs a primal here. Uh, Ooh, the the reason he does need to, they need to keep contesting. Look, they are still in this, but they're not in it with the primal yeah. range. If PB wanted to go back in there, Joyboy needed to be in there first with the primal. Keep the fight going. Like I said, City Center is notorious for these overtime contestant Tories for not letting the cap go over. Alter Ego could have snuck in maybe up to 60%, if not more, if they just kept on playing it for Jam. That would have been a pretty huge deficit to climb back in front, but now Alter Ego gave it up. Early jam, happy to collect the extra percentage points. I feel like we've seen that so much this Super Week. Winston's not wanting to use that Primal Rage. It's as though they're afraid of using it at the wrong time to the point where they're not even using it at the right time. Runs it back into a Kraken, even though he used the Primal Rage. Man, you just... <laughs> it's like, no matter what you do, right? But now it's a sad kill. boy, yeah, pressured out. And this is the res onto a Kraken. Actually, PB and Jam's done to hit back. Alter Ego still with legs in the spite. Oh, oh, Rocket Barrage, too close to the edge there and no targets in his sights. Also making him a free target for Render to hit. They do get one back on Crystal. Oh, nice! Crimson Wolf and Prowlor. Trace really starting to put in the time now as Jam's slowly but surely getting beaten back despite some slight missteps from Alter Ego during the course of the fight. And Alter Ego might be able to cap this one. Ooh, uh, not 
of these okay, members getting pressured I said, out. I said might right because yeah. Alter Ego didn't quite have enough legs still standing. They're still very, very close, but very close is unfortunately not very good yeah. enough. PB and Jam still losing out to Render time and time again. It's just a very unfortunate way for Alter Ego to unfortunately be losing currently, despite Trace having some great moments. And now it's Jam sort of starting to cycle into the advantage, and it's not like Alter Ego actually have time to lose one and then come back later. They've actually just got to find a way in here, and that means PB and Jam needs to not paint a target on his back for Render to hit. He does need to get Virginia, which he does indeed get. Now trying to find Prowl or at least something. They do have the presence on the point, and actually it's Jam on the back foot now. Is Render to go to eight? What? What? What on earth? It might not be enough though. That uh, sound barrier is nice for Jam, but they still actually don't have the presence on the point where Alter Ego do. And also, if they can get this cap, maybe 99% for Jam, but Alter Ego should be able to rotate into some ultimates. It's all just close out here. That's a sad face for Alter Ego. Well, because look, they could have been that 99% for themselves if they just tried to kind of stall it out. Jam Gaming in one cap, 0 to 99. That is such a huge advantage. Also, Ego, though, they have the possibility, the ability to clean out this game. Now, PB finally sitting onto the Rocket Barrage and the rest of the team ready to go with ultimates as well. Sad Boy, we know what he can do with the self-destruct when he uses it offensively. This is where one good Rocket Barrage or one good self-destruct could just buy them enough time for the next fight to oh, be the Crimson last low. fight. Crimson Low, but PB Low! Oh, are you kidding me? He is always having that happen. No rocket barrage Jump this out. time. It's got to be Sad Boy, but no, it's Render gets the big Kahuna. Sad Boy too late on that one, unfortunately for himself and Jam the race straight back on the Render. Trace is going to have to do the work of a thousand men here between him and Joy Boy. They are at least going to keep it alive, but they've got to keep it alive for PB and Jam to come back in, and that does mean they'll have to get rid of Render somehow. But Joy Boy, the only one at the point, just trying to stay alive as long as he can. They're at the 99 to 99, but no, back the way of Jam. The cap goes through. PB and Jam dead again. Are you kidding me? No rocket barrage. Ata gets the pulse bomb kill. Alter Ego just in disarray as the cab had gone back the way of Jam. And now Jam just looking to secure it. Secure the 2-0. Secure the 3-2. Secure the first full five of Australian contenders. What a way to round off Super Week. 3-2 there for Jam Gaming. What a match that was. Almost a little bit disappointed they didn't go to all three there on control, but certainly Jam putting up a good performance there on Oasis and Alter Eco. They kind of had to clutch it out on Dorado to get it even to this point. So it did always feel sort of like Jam was maybe in an advantageous position to begin with, but at the end of the day, they come away just a little bit stronger there than Alter Ego. And that's exactly what we wanted to see here, right? Because at the end of the day, it was one team swinging quite hard, the other team swinging back just a bit as well. And we got there all the way to map five in a sort of sequential manner, like Jam, Alter Ego, Jam, Alter Ego, then Jam finally yeah. back out there again. And it was that sort of pharmacy that kind of clinched it for Jam at the end of the day. You sort of mentioned, mm. Jordan, coming to Ilios, um, the fact that they won that first control and Jam with Render so critical on that far roll was a big part of that victory. Bringing that back on o Oasis was definitely the deciding factor. Yeah, it was, it's a little bit unfortunate as well that PB and Jam was just getting so consistently shut down, but you do just have to accept that, unfortunately, that's the caliber of the team you're playing against there, that uh, in this instance, PB and Jam just couldn't quite match, and that's not to discredit the guy, because in... You know, in equal measure, he was the sort of critical component of a lot of his team's wins there. Especially on Dorado. Yeah, absolutely. The Genji was insane by him on Dorado. Too. And that was the opposite, right? Because Render just got shut down time and time again. Uh, PB had a great game on that. And it, now, you know, when, yeah. it, when it comes to the control maps, it's just unfortunately for Alter Ego the opposite. Yeah, and you got to look at how that did go because it was both controls that went to jam. And it was mm. both of the more payload oriented ones that went the way of Alter Ego. You've almost got to say, in that case, the swing point was actually assault. And and maybe if that had have gone the way of Alter Ego, would have been a very different day. Yeah, well, there's a lot of